Welcome everyone. Back here today with another Massey Ferguson 135 repair video. Today I'm going to be working on the ignition system of this tractor. Um, as you just heard, it's having trouble starting. I'm not getting any fire to my spark plugs. And the way I found that out was I hooked up the spark plug tester in between the spark plug and the plug wire. And I'm not getting any spark. Um, I used my phone to record while I'm up on the tractor and see if there's any light and there wasn't. So I think my problem's within this distributor cap. So I'm gonna take it off, see what my points are set at, and probably go ahead and replace them. So I went ahead and bought a, a kit on Amazon for 20 bucks. You can get a new set of points, condenser, rotor, and four new spark plugs. So I'll probably just go ahead and, and replace them and set the points on this one and see what that does and hopefully it'll fix this tractor and get it running. I'll pull this distributor cap off and show you what's inside. There was just two little screws holding it on, but pretty simple inside. You got a condenser, a rotor, and then you have your, your points right here. So I'll fire it up and show you how that runs. Right away, I think I'm able to identify the issue on this. So as I was turning this over, I had no gap in my points. And how this works is you have a center cam, and that cam has four edges. That's because this is a four cylinder. One, two, three, four. And as this turns, you're supposed to have a gap in your points, just like that, as it spins around. Now, I'm at maximum right now at one of the corners, and I have no gap right now. So I'm gonna replace these points since I bought a kit, but if I didn't have the kit, uh, you could go ahead and try to set those points. Massey Ferguson recommends 0 0.021 inches right here, but I'm gonna replace this anyways. But if you didn't have the kit ordered, you can try that. How this whole system works, just a basic overview, is you have a ignition coil right here, 12 volts comes in, and you have a secondary coil with higher voltage. What happens is when this opens up, there's a break in current and that discharges down to your distributor cap to the center wire. And then your rotor, which sits right here, spins around, connects with your spark plug wires and distributes the current to your spark plugs, providing spark. So now you have a condenser here. Uh, the reason for the condenser is to absorb some of the energy so that um, your points are able to last longer. If you didn't have this, your points would wear out really soon. So overall, just this is responsible for transferring the mechanical timing uh, alongside the electrical timing to your spark plugs so that they're in sync. Here's the difference between the new points here on the left and the old points. So this little plastic tab right here has been worn down and that's probably the cause of the point gap to diminish. Um, you can also see the metal electrode is worn down on this one. All right, I got my new points and condenser installed, and as you can see, now when it's at maximum, there's a small gap, and I can put my feeler gauge in, and it goes in without moving. Since the kit came with new plugs, I might as well replace them. I'm using a 7 8 deep well socket to remove these plugs. Just remember which plug wires go on which one. Don't want to mix those up. 